every single movie, 120 pound chick that beats the crap out of everybody. She's got superpowers. If you want to be a female hero, be a compliment to a guy's life, make him a nice sandwich, bring him a great family, you know, be useful. That's all guys want. We don't want you saving the world being Furosa. Every single action, like I like the action genre. Like that's my thing. Yeah. I'm like, you know, Mad Max, right? Like, you know, Mad I watched Mad, Mad Max, Max on the flight back today, Fury Road. Yeah. Not this anyway, one, but the other one. Furosa. The real like, one. Okay, so I watched the trailer and of course what it is, it's a 120 pound chick that beats the crap out of everybody. She's got superpowers. And I'll tell you something, every single gal that I've dated, uh, I don't date fat chicks. Every, every single gal that I've dated is like under five foot nine, 130 pounds and fit. And they can't open up a jar of jam. All right. And these gals in these movies, they, they look that size or smaller in many cases. I don't know how they beat up an entire army of like 17 guys with like weaponry and all this sort of stuff, but it's getting absurd, man. Like it, it's, it, it's very hard for me now, now that I've unplugged from all the, all the lies and all the manipulation to sit there and watch a streaming show that basically makes her like the heroine sort of thing. I did end up watching Fast and Furious 10. I'm like, all right, Dominic Toretto, you know, let's, let's get into some horsepower. And of course, you know, they stick in Gal Gadot. She, she saves a couple of girls with a submarine in the Antarctic. And they have that like look and smile sort of thing, that mischievous look. And it's like, they still infuse all of this, you know, like female hero. Like you want to be a female hero, be a compliment to a guy's life, make him a nice sandwich, bring him a great family, you know, be useful. Uh, that's, that's all guys want. We don't want you saving the world being Furosa, right? I'm happy to open the jars of jam for you all day long. It's on a top shelf. You can't get it. No problem. I got gotcha, you. Right. But, uh, you know, this whole making women like the center of all attention in films, it doesn't make any sense. Here's another one. Actually, I want to put this one up. Women want to be taken seriously. And then they do this, right? Like, you know, here I am submits my opponent and then I just twerk on top of them. Right. <laughs> you, you can't even make this stuff up, man. You can't. You give them enough rope and they hang themselves. It's just ridiculous. It's because they know. It's their only agency. They know. The only way they're going to get attention is by gyrating or getting naked. I mean, that's what it boils down to. Like, uh, yeah, it, it's just ridiculous. I mean, it, I think that movie was, I don't know if it was, I think it was panned critically. Even if it wasn't, nobody went to go see it. But this is a common thing. Like the Ghostbusters movie, they did a reboot of the Ghostbusters yeah. and they made an all female cast and then nobody went to go see it. And the director was like, oh, that's because everybody's a misogynist that hates women. No, I mean, just, uh, you have Charlie's Angels and just you've got 120 pound soaking wet women that are beating the crap out of guys four times their size. It, it's just ridiculous. And what this also does, this also gives modern regular everyday women a very false sense of safety security and confidence so they can run their mouths to people in public and they think that they can I'm get in a dude's face and they can if i just get mad enough you know i can beat up a guy right like you're an idiot you're dumb and you're could potentially lose your life like there's just no reason for it uh yeah it, it's just and nobody wants to watch it it's just be it, like the entertainment industry has just all become like everything else. It's just gone woke. So there are very few. I mean, if you were to sit here and list off, what are some movies that display modern traditional masculinity that oh, are good? If guys want, you can't name anything before you can't name anything after 2010. I mean, uh, my God, um, Tombstone, you know, like is a great one. Fight Club, you know, Terminator. I, I don't know. I mean, the list goes on. I would, you know, Predator. I would love to see somebody in the comment, you know, give a, a top 10 guy movie list and see if you could find anything before 2015 or, or after 2015, so to speak. So if I somebody wants to that. take that on, go for I it. Think, yeah. I think Top Gun might have been like one of the last recent ones. Top Gun probably. Then, they had the DEI female hire with them. Yeah. Well, life. they remade it. Yeah, but yeah. but I mean overall it was it was a pretty solid film, right? You know, with that small exception. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment, you'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.